Yo, how's it going guys? Travel Links here, welcome back. Today we're gonna focus on the Loki. Uh, one of the bots that was uh, showcased on our last skirmish mode, which seemed to be all about uh, the ways Pixonic has broken the game. So, Loki is arguably the biggest troll bot now in the game. Uh, it has a two-sided ability. Uh, on the one hand, it has infinite stealth and no weapons, uh, but it does also get a 60% speed boost. And on the other hand, it gets three weapons, no stealth, and uh, basic speed. It's uh, it's a lot like a pursuer actually, only kind of the opposite. Um, with a pursuer, uh, you know the uh, standard um, gameplay is to wait until your stealth is available and uh, you know hit that stealth ability and go in for the attack. With the Loki, on the other hand. Uh, you can't actually attack when in stealth. You do have to plan your attacks a little better. Uh, kind of a challenging bot to play, but uh, not really on the other hand. It is very, very easy. Very easy to be annoying in this bot. Um, because of that un in, you know, unlimited stealth. Um, you can run around, you can capture beacons, you can sneak up on people. Like this here to pop, 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 pop. He didn't even know I was coming. All of a sudden, he's done. I'm actually dealing damage to two bots here. Uh, the fender in the back is not. But uh, yeah, so uh, definitely a uh, game breaker. Um, not in the sense that it's very. I don't know, not not in the sense that it's it, it ruins the game, but in the sense that it's going to uh, create a ripple effect that's going to affect a lot of things in this game. Um, because of the stealth ability, uh, you're going to see a lot more quantum radar hit the field. Um, you're going to see uh, a lot more trolls hit the field. Uh, you're going to find a lot of people that are going to play this and they're just going to be as annoying as possible. So, uh, you know, it's definitely going to change the game. Um, is it uh, overpowered? Is it impossible to beat? No, not at all. Um, it's just going to take some, uh, some planning. So, uh, now obviously I'm kind of showing off how annoying this thing can be here. Um, I've got a couple of just scenarios that I've pulled together from uh, some of my gameplay here. Um, you know, just to kind of show the various ways that this bot can be annoying. Um, here you see I can uh, pretty much avoid any kind of damage. Um, I do have to worry about some things on the field. Uh, obviously, another Loki's weapons are going to be at the right height. Uh, the Fenrir as well. Uh, its side-mounted weapons are low enough to hit the Loki. Uh, it's one of the things that's uh, actually going to be the way that this Loki is going to be taken down. Um, which is why I say if you're smart about it. So, anything with a low chassis or low-mounted weapons is going to be deadly for this thing. It doesn't really have much health kind of depends on that stealth ability and so you know you get something like a raker you get something like uh something like an invader you know um anything like that's going to be able to take this thing out fairly easily so I'm not too concerned about it it's just going to be annoying um what it is, it's going to be scary for is a lot of your long range units um Things like the Trident Fury, yes, are going to um, have no recourse against this because uh, they're going to be firing over its head when it's in stealth mode. Um, 
and so maybe this is actually a good thing maybe this is going to be a way to route out those campers on the back line um, that are you know running their various long ultra long range weapons um, and not doing anything maybe that, that's what this is for um, of course we will we didn't get a chance to test that sort of theory out uh, in the skirmish but uh, you know that being said it's a possibility so um, you know maybe this does potentially have some benefits um, aside from just being a trolling bot but uh, here right here you can see um, this Aujun has no chance to take me out um, and I found it funny actually that uh, consistently uh, throughout my play, it was the Arjun that was chasing me the most, um, even though it had no chance, no chance whatsoever of hitting me in stealth. So, uh, yeah, it is, however, a great ambush tool. As you can see, I can get right up inside of this uh, Ares. Um, and anything else, like, that's why this is such a troll bot, is because I could stand here next to this Aujun, he can do absolutely nothing to me, and then go ahead and turn his back to try and defend himself, or battle someone else, and that's when I can just drop those weapons into place. So, uh, here we go right here. Uh, you'll see I'm gonna sneak up behind him, he's distracted, pop, pop, pop. Now, I forgot that he had last stand, that was my fault, but uh, otherwise, you know, I could have taken him down right there, no problem. And uh, that's what makes this thing the most dangerous. Um, like, sure, it's annoying um, that you have to, you have to babysit um, beacons and stuff like that, but the most dangerous part of this Loki is just that, is the fact that it can sneak up behind you, open up its weapons, fire off some rounds, and, uh, and then as soon as you realize and go to take him, take him on, he can just put those weapons away, go back into stealth, and stand there and stare at you, and wait until you're bored of watching him, and then he'll turn his weapons back on and shoot you in the back again. So, uh, I'm not really all that impressed, um, that's why I call it a game breaker, I'm not really all that impressed at, uh, just the style of gameplay that is going to become so easily accessible. This trolling mentality is going to be so easily accessible, like, I would not be surprised to find one of these things running around with ECUs, like, you know physical shield on both sides. Oh, I'm just going to run around and capture beacons and block you if you do have the height. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's how I feel about it. Um, am I really scared of it? No. Um, I'm kind of excited, to be honest, uh, for the same reason as uh, I'm excited to see the Ares now. It's because I figured out how to take it out and, uh, you know, quickly and efficiently and, uh, you know. And so for me, it's like, ooh, there's one. That's an easy target. I'm going to hit that. But if you don't know what you're dealing with, then you're going to be chasing me around like this guy in the Aju. Uh, he's going to chase me around for like half the map or half the match. So, uh, you know is what it is but uh, that's why I bring you this is because uh, the more you know about this unit the better chance you have of dealing with it on the battlefield um, and uh, you know if we can all kind of deal with it efficiently and effectively and then uh, you know there's going to be very few trolls that actually pull this thing out on it because you know too many people are going to know how to take it down so, uh, you know, that's about it. Uh, again, it's got a max speed of 50. It's got uh, a speed boost in stealth, which puts that up to 80. It's got three weapons, light weapon slots, um, 
only available when the stealth is not a bit on. And uh, that's about it. So there's a little bit, a couple more things going to happen here. I'll uh, just go ahead and let you watch and see um, as we have some fun here. And uh, hopefully uh, when you start to see this thing on the battlefield, you won't get too frustrated by it. And uh, you just start to deal with it effectively. You know, get those low mounted weapons out and uh, just hunt this thing down until uh, these trolls stop playing. So, uh, for now, Tribal Links, thanks for tuning in, thanks for showing up. We're signing off.
Thank you.